Hi. <laughs> Where are you? There you are. I'm going to put you in. <laughs> I did it. I think I did it. <laughs> it's cray cray, but I think it's working. I don't know. It's not a smooth process, but I'm trying. <laughs> I don't have any technical people working on this except I know ourselves. <laughs> and I, I'm not, you know, I'm techie to some degree, but some things are above my pay grade. <laughs> you know what? It's really okay. Oh, we'll get it. It's heat. We'll get it going on. It's above my pay grade. <laughs> so hot, hot, hot today. It's, I think it's 93. It's hot today. Yeah. So because of that, I am not cooking. I'm going to make some kind of um, ice cream. It's not really ice cream. I think semi a like a gelato-ish, um, creamy, frozen dessert. It's a semi -fredo. It's a semi -fredo. It's some semi frozen, sort of frozen. But it does sound like um, mafia. <laughs> it's not Fredo from the Fredo. <laughs> You don't want to be Fredo. No. Oh, my God. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. But at first, I want to say how excited I am that Joy Reed's getting her own show slot in the evening. It's so exciting. It's time. Jeez. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So it's going to be called The Readout. And it's going to be in the old hardball slot. So I'm happy. I'm so happy for her. Oh, my God. To replace hardball is fantastic. <laughs> With someone yeah. like her. Oh, my God. I'm sweating. <laughs> anyway, here we are. At least you're outside. You, what did you do today? Didn't you go hiking something? I went river rafting. And I'm going to give a plug for the local company that took us. It's called Los Rios in Pilar, New Mexico, and uh, the whole family went. It was great. They were very conscious of the COVID. I will tell you that all the New Mexicans had on their masks and oh, great. did not. And so the guide had to go, well, you can't really come on the bus unless you put on your mask. <laughs> not and, on a bus. So, no. Well, park at this um, Rio Grande Visitor Center, and then they they shuttle you on a giant school bus, and you're so it's so fun to the river, and it was absolutely gorgeous. It was so you were in the Rio Grande, right? We're in the Rio Grande, and it was just yeah. our family. Um, it was just beautiful. It was just a great, and then we got to swim like three times. Nice. Where they just off in the calm and we just floated down the river and your it, nose looks a little burnt i don't little burnt <laughs> we put on a lot of sunscreen but it was just like that hot sun on the water no, yeah but um it was awesome yeah Yay. so i'm a little i'm a little chill right now so if i'm not my usual yeah, little sparky self <laughs> <laughs> because i'm tired but we well, I'm going to show you what I did already because I used to put on the oven, but I made these beautiful peaches. Oh, my dear. That is gorgeous. They're pan roasted. I wanted roasted peaches, and I was not about to turn on the oven. So that's what happened there. <laughs> so this is how I've made a lot of semi fredo before. But, um, and, and usually like the super fine kind, you make like a zabayon or a custard with right. the egg yolks. Right. But I'm hot, so I'm not doing that. You're just gonna cook it, it's okay. I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, do my egg yolks, but I'm not going to cook them. It'll still be creamy. My dog is tickling my underarm. <laughs> <laughs> So, so cute. Oh my God. Uh, so I'm lining my pan with um, my little loaf pan, which is what this is going to go in, with okay. um, with plastic wrap. It's all okay. going to go in. Really interesting. This is a, is this a, 
tried and true? Did you come up with this or did you get it from somewhere or is this your method? Um, it's semi fredo recipes are basically what they are, but I'm doing um, my version of it with peaches and the way I do it. So I'm going to lay the peaches on the bottom. Mm, what did you ro just roasted them on their own? Did you put anything on them? Oh, of course I did. They have, uh, <laughs> they were roasted in brown sugar and, but and actually I used goat butter, but obviously you don't have to use that. I just had it. Yum. Yeah. Well, so just going to lay these on the bottom. Oh yes. Are oh, those from your uh, peach tree? No, my peach tree doesn't, um, isn't really ready. It's a late peach. My okay. peaches come in and, um, usually in August. Okay. David gets an extra peach. Because right. I have an extra peach bottom. And he gets an extra one. <laughs> so that's ready for the semi fredo when the semi fredo's recipe. But I can show you a couple of little tricks. Show us the tricks. Show you the tricks. So um, I have in the refrigerator right now a bowl, a glass bowl, and my beater. Um, the the beaters themselves, they're in there in the freezer yeah. getting cold. Okay because it's so hot that I don't want to have it sitting out here. It's just going to work a lot faster if, if everything's cold to start with. Right. So I'm going to put in six egg yolks. Woo. Come back. Wow. In here. So semi Fredo means half cold. Half, half frozen. Yeah. Half frozen. Half cold. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty much it. So it's it's a it's a half a Fredo. <laughs> it's a half a Fredo. So and I mean it, it's really a lot of egg yolk. So like if you're gonna whoops, come back here. If it's if you're gonna um you know make a zabayon, you have to have it. I don't know if you've have you ever made it? You know, I don't think I've made a classic semi Fredo per se, but I have made, you know, the custardy gelato y type. Soft, yeah. fish, custard, cold custard. Yeah. Well, with with the zabayon, you have to do it in a bowl over hot water, and it has to be, you know, kind of like a double boiler. And you're whisking the egg yolks to make the custard. Right. Right. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not standing over a hot stove today. I'm not, not today. Gonna do it. Not today. <laughs> so here are my six egg yolks. They're in here. And then okay. I'm going to add three tablespoons of honey. Ooh. And this honey is super soft because it's so hot. Did I say it was hot today? I don't think you did. You, it's what? <laughs> <laughs> it's super freaking hot today. So. It is amazing though that it's so easy to do the honey because normally it's not easy uh -huh. well if if it was not that hot today i would have probably warmed the honey a little bit so that it really mixes well with the egg yolks so that's so, gonna mix quite well yeah so now you know can you see me come over here I can see um i am going to um put my beta on and i'm going to beat this until the egg yolks are the truth. I'm going to beat the heck out of it until they're pale and and um, they until they really like get full and creamy and they got to at least double. Okay. So you're going to beat it until you get some answers. So that's going to go for a while. Now I'm going to do my little trick with the cream. I'll return. Oh, do you want to go back? Yeah, okay, never mind. My husband will get it because I have an assistant today. You have a permit. And then the beater, the beat, <laughs> the eggs and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to do one cup of cream while that's going. Nice. And my secret little trick is so cool. See how cold this bowl is? Yeah, you, you had it in the freezer? Yeah, it's really chilled. Yeah, you have to on hot days. Yeah. It, otherwise, uh, it would be really hard to get this to beat. Yeah. So what I do when I'm going to beat something, if you have a sink, 
that yeah. had the um a plug near it. I set yeah. the bowl in the sink. <laughs> and that way when it splashes, it stays oh, in the sink. Okay. Isn't that that's, smart? That's really smart. I've never done that. Wow. <laughs> that says a lot about me. <laughs> I don't know. I, I learned that trick years ago and it's been very handy. I am going to use my vanilla bean paste instead of yeah. vanilla. Okay, I was corrected by someone last show where we talked about vanilla from Madagascar. Yeah. Actually, the best vanilla is from Mexico. Oh, okay. And when I was there, I had some an incredible vanilla, and I forgot about that. I totally forgot. I have two mixers going. <laughs> Whoa! You got one in the corner and one by hand. Wow. You're not messing around. Okay. I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but this should go very quickly because everything Cold. Are you mixing it into whipped cream? What? Are you mixing it into whipped cream? I am, but not a super stiff one. Okay. And it's almost ready, really. Wow. Does it go faster because the bowl's frozen? I wonder. There you go. That was fast because I had everything really cold. Not super well, you're, psych you're psychic because I just said, I wonder if that goes fast because the bowl's frozen. And then you went, it goes fast because I got it. Frozen. <laughs> so this part takes a while for the um, egg yolks to get pale. Yeah. Which is why I started that first. <laughs> but they're getting there. Can you see them? Yep. Sort of. It looks good. Does that help? Yeah, no. that's better. That's yeah. a little bit better. Yeah. So it's starting to get pale and fluffy. Mm. And I'm just going to talk to you while that happens. The only thing, okay. then, then I'm just going to mix, fold the ingredients in together. Pour it into this prepared pan. And then I'm gonna put that in the freezer for about an hour or two. Then I'm gonna take it out. Why do you I'll, put the plastic wrap on it? Just to cover it and so it slides out better. Okay. Yeah. And then I'll then I'll mix in the chopped nuts. I'm gonna use um mm -hmm. chopped pistachios and some fresh raspberries. Oh, wow. And then I'll put it back in the freezer for a while till it really freezes. So will, when you you photogra will you photograph the stages so we yeah. can see it? Yeah. Then when you, when you um, want to serve it, you take it out for about 15 minutes. Well, it depends on how hot it is. <laughs> right. About 15 minutes, but then this, it should come out, you know, slide out with this plastic wrap and you invert it onto a plate and then you can slice it. Wow. And that's how you do it. That's going to be gorgeous. Yeah, it should be delicious. I love roasted peaches. Mmm, me too. They're super good. I so, just like oh, peaches. It's getting so pretty. <laughs> so you can see the color. What happens is, you know, the egg yolks are dark yellow as you're whipping air into them they start to get very pale and they should lift. So wow. That's what's happening while and I'm have, And you don't have to cook the eggs? Well, no, I'm not gonna, but no, you don't have to. I mean, if you're worried about salmonella, then probably you should, and you should make the custard, but you don't have to. You don't have to. You've had it this way Italians before. have survived. <laughs> They've managed, I don't know. 
Hey, disclaimer, we're not doctors. If you get no, sick, don't you come to doctors. us. No, we're not we doctors. We told you. If you're scared, cook it. That's right. <laughs> I at some point I will do the the Zabayon kind or the custard kind when it's not 95 degrees in my house. Right. <laughs> Got it. Oh look. Oh, it's so pretty. So I will have to use my husband in a few minutes, but it takes I I wouldn't rush that part of it. Okay. Oh, the egg yolks. I should probably put that in the refrigerator though. Our free refrigerator is so full, everything's in the refrigerator. <laughs> what? Sometimes I just stand in front of the refrigerator. I, I, I bet they're like so hot. <laughs> there are people probably wondering, well, why don't you have AC? Well, because where we live in the mountains at 7,800 feet, it usually doesn't get this hot. So you have and fans, you have fans. Long. But they don't have, uh, a lot of people don't have AC because we don't, this is unusual. This is global warming. This, this is unusual. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I've lived here for Here's many, many years. Oh, look at our refrigerator. Whoa. <laughs> it's packed. Jeez Louise, that is, that's a lot of food. It's crazy. I went shopping today. Let's just, how full is the freezer? Don't be funny. <laughs> Okay, so this should be about right. Put that, that extra light on. What? Wow. Like that light? That extra yeah, light? I'm going to show so you gonna this. Bring it out. Yeah. Can you see that? It's almost like it's so oh my pale. God. Wow, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah, it's very pale. It kind of reminds me of when you make um, vanilla ice cream, you know? Yeah, I have this gigantic butterfly in my yard. It is so beautiful. It's oh, giant. The butterflies are good right now. Yeah, my friend Eddie took the most gorgeous picture of a butterfly. Like I was shocked at how beautiful the photo was. Hmm. He got so close, and the butterfly was just in a perfect shape, and it was hmm. yellow, and it had blue on the bottom. It was so gorgeous. Are there more than two people living where this packed refrigerator is? <laughs> no, there aren't. <laughs> but it's called Corona Kitchen for a reason. I went to the grocery store today and I'm like, I don't want to go back for another week or two. So right. that's I, what I we know. <laughs> you know, do you believe in, you know, how people believe that animals or insects are totems? My grandmother is. A monarch butterfly she follows us oh. everywhere and we saw her on the trail the other day on the hike she can't the butterfly came and touched all of our shoes it was amazing oh. well when i was um i was with kim the actress kim stanley when she died which was intense to say the least and i had to leave her hospital room um right before she passed and i was just out of myself and I went downtown because I was working down there and I walked up the street and this big monarch butterfly followed me down the street and I knew that she had passed. Ken. Aww. Yeah. Okay, now it's ready. <laughs> Fine, finalmente. So they're, they're really, they're almost you know, like white. See how white that is? Yeah. And they and um, that's not the egg white, that's the egg yolk. Just the yolks, yeah. Uh, so aren't aren't eggs the most fascinating thing? Seriously. Oh, they're awesome. There, see that how pale that is compared to wow. a yellow egg yolk? Yeah. Yeah. So now um I am going to and I'm gonna taste it because you're gonna zap by your own. You're not doing me. Oh my gosh, that's so good. <laughs> it's the honey that's in it. Yes. The honey mix. Yes. yes. So I need my uh, bowl of whipped cream. Okay. My dear, my husband. <laughs> and I will be making something with all of these egg whites. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to go to. 
Um, you can make a meringue. Yeah. With just, but it's not a meringue because it's the, the yellows. So now I'm going to fold in. No, I mean with your egg whites. Oh yeah, beautiful, huh? So this is wow. super creamy because wow. of the cream. The cream and the, I think it's the sugar content um, also helps keep it. It doesn't get frozen, frozen, like, right. you know, like an ice cube. It's like a mousse. Yes. Wow. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Yeah. So now I'm going to pour it in here in my prepared pan. With the peaches. With my peaches on the bottom. Yummy. And then after about an hour, I'll pull this out and then I'll give it a stir and mix in the nuts and the raspberries. And will then you keep the raspberries whole or what will you do with the raspberries? Yeah, I'm going to keep the raspberries whole. I'm just going to mix them in there because when you slice them, they'll be wherever they are. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Okay. So that's it. That is gonna be it's so super good. easy. You do not need an ice cream maker. So great. Yeah. Super easy. And I'm just going to do that and put it in the freezer. If I can find a place to put it. <laughs> try to try to pretty. squeeze it in there. Oh, there it is. So All pretty. right. She's going. Right, right <laughs> Freeze it. Yeah. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> okay, Frida. Fredo. <laughs> Fredo, Frida. Fredo, it's Frida. Well, well, I also have, pull out that bacon. I'm going to show you how I do the bacon. Lay it on a tray like this. Put in the food. freezer? Put it in the freezer, and then when it's frozen, you just lift them up. And put them in a plastic bag, and that way you can pull out one at a time. Wow. The Super things easy. I've learned on Corona Kitchen, seriously. <laughs> there <laughs> you go. I did see online you can get vanilla paste. It was not obviously as inexpensive as it used to be when Trader Joe's had it. But they have it there online. I saw it when I was ordering vanilla beans. I did order vanilla beans. Oh, you did? Yeah, I found some beautiful non-GMOs on, nice. online. So I'm going to get those, and I'll, I'll make vanilla when they come so you can see how to do it. I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> so that's my story, kids. All right. Well, I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> oh, I you are. I, I am, too, because I, don't, I think I told you where – I told you, but I didn't tell all you guys out there. We're laying our uh, bamboo flooring in the bedroom. In the heat, yes, we are. <laughs> so are incredible. I can't believe every you know how to you both know how to do so many things that the average human doesn't know. <laughs> I know we're a little cray cray, but hopefully it'll be a little better tomorrow. In a good way. Yeah, in a good way. You know. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna see if I can show the credits right there. Oh, that would be that fabulous. Let's see. It worked. <laughs> no. Whoa, why did it stop? Well, it stopped when you could read them. I figured out one of these days. Okay, well, thanks everybody. And I will um, take a picture when I mix it up, and then I'll take a picture when I serve it. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thanks everybody and yeah. please watch us on YouTube and subscribe to Corona Kitchen and love one another. Wear a mask. <laughs> just care about just have some empathy. Care about others, you know? Yeah. yeah. When you put that mask when you put that mask on, it's for someone else. It's not for you. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Manja. Bye. Have a good night, everyone. See you tomorrow. <laughs>